Very good morning, guys. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to True Brother Vlogs. We're vlogging here from Calcutta, city of joy. And oh boy, it's pouring. And I'm actually ready to go for a flight today. Day four of continuous flying. Uh, where am I headed today? It's called Leela Bari. Uh, it's exactly, to, should I say, it's to the further eastmost airport, almost the last airport in India, closest to the China border. And it's a bloody two hour sector each way. So I'm going to Leela Bari and coming back, that's the only sector I'm doing today. Uh, where am I? I'm in Salt Lake City, right next to the cricket stadium. We have some beautiful views from here and Oh boy, flying in the, this part of India is a pain because it is the most, what do you say, weather-wise, it is the most difficult part of the country to fly because there's huge build-ups of weather in this part of the country, like that. It's just unbelievable. I'll talk more about the questions what people have about flying in this video. A lot of people have a lot of misconception about flying. So let's just talk about that as a passenger perspective. So chalo, it's time for me to actually go. I wanted to start by 2.20. It's about 2.18 now. Back from that long, tiring sector as I've been to this place called Leela Bari today. And oh boy. Weather was relatively fine while going, but while coming back off. Uh, from Guwahati all the way till almost till Dhaka, the weather was pathetic, it was, I would say, piss pouring rain and it was uh, literally like thunderstorms everywhere, we literally had to punch through the thunderstorms and come in, oh boy, uh, my voice might be a little tired just because of that, I literally had to fight the weather today, amazing day, uh, came back home, uh, home as into my room. You guys have to see this property here. It is absolutely fabulous. So I'll just show you guys the room first. So that's the bed. They have a huge mirror. And the washroom is like next level. This is the wardrobe. And this is the washroom. So the, uh, the sink. And you have to get downstairs to take bath. And this is high. This, I'm actually stretching my hand out completely up and I still can't reach that. That's how high that is. And there's a tub. And that's how amazing this room is. I like, this is one of the best properties I have stayed in, honestly. Hayat, Kolkata is just next level. And yes, so I guys, I wanted to show you guys a few things and also, you know, I clear a few doubts which people have about aviation. Yes, it is about 10 in the night now. Finally, I'm heading back to Hyderabad tomorrow. And immediately after reaching Hyderabad, we are actually traveling for a period of four days. So two days of traveling, two days of stay basically. And uh, so we're going to this place called Dindi. Uh, I know Sujan hasn't told you guys in the video which it just come out on Sunday but yes Dindi is the location where we guys are going just to wind ourselves out to relax kind of celebrate the occasion of Sujan's and uh, Sharanya's wedding my captaincy and all the things which are happening good Shraddha's new business which has started so for all these things combined we're just having a small holiday for the family Agu has never been out of Hyderabad pretty much except to Shraddha's hometown so a good place to relax and unwind. That's what we are doing. And yes, uh, I've actually captured lightning today on my phone. Uh, not the best of photographs, but yes, uh, I'll show that to you right now. And also, I'll show you another picture which shows actually the depiction of the India and Bangladesh border. And uh, if it's a clear night, it is very visible. It is actually absolutely visible. It is one of the most well lit borders i would say and you can actually see the shape of each country actually from the sky quite clearly and uh, there were patches where the clouds were not there and we could actually see the ground and uh, it was really beautiful as in you could see the borderline so easily demarked in the daytime also there's a river crossing which separates both the countries and also 
the vegetation is quite different i will try and post a picture of the night time in the day time i don't remember taking a picture but yes night time you can easily spot where india begins and bangladesh ends so that picture which i just showed you guys is actually me coming back into india from the bangladesh border and uh, wow bangladesh has some horrible weather guys unbelievable it is uh, as in the complete calcutta to the till guwahati this stretch has one of the most extreme weather phenomenons on the planet as in the build up of bad weather is extreme like again chirapunji and all these areas are part of this part of the country which attain the maximum amount of rainfall and uh, yes this place oh my god like literally within a span of 2 hours you'll find clouds from non existent to clouds which extend to a height of well over 40000 feet so it is unbelievable at how fast the build up is and yes you know as a pilot you your local knowledge when you fly is very important so let's say if uh, i am a person who's flying generally out of hyderabad i know the weather pattern the phenomenon there and when i compare the weather in hyderabad to calcutta it is honestly the build up is at least 20 to 25 times greater in calcutta than in hyderabad yes that is there it is amazing at how fast the weather changes here in this part of the world okay now coming to the few doubts which people have regarding uh, pilots regarding flying first uh, people generally ask okay you are a pilot okay so are you an international pilot or a domestic pilot that's a very big question a lot of people have and mind you there is nothing called as an international pilot it is just a same thing as a pilot you can go to any airport anywhere in the world and fly there is no limitation to that so you can fly to any destination there is no problem the limitation is more about the aircraft that somebody flies so if somebody is flying a regional aircraft it doesn't have the range let's say to go from hyderabad or let's say from new delhi to directly to some other country so again there are different categories of aircraft which are used and each category or each aircraft has its own specific purpose for a company and based on that there is a change in role or what the aircraft is used for but as a pilot there's no limitation for anybody to fly any to any airport anywhere in the world and uh, yes another very important question which people ask is is there let's say i i work for airetia is there a huge pay difference between a person who flies let's say an atr to one of the biggest aircraft in the world which is the 747 which air india has we don't have an a318 in india 747 is the biggest aircraft in india so what is the pay scale difference there is hardly any difference there is in fact i would say there is no difference at all whatsoever so what is the difference in the in these terms so let's say a pilot flies or nate okay let's say a 747 pilot let's say he's flying from let's say new delhi to london he flies for a period of about 8 8 and a half hours and so say somebody in the same period that person will do just one landing he goes from delhi to london lands in london comes back maybe a day or two later so he does one landing a day and similarly somebody let's say who's flying an atr like me i do multiple landings i also fly for that 7 8 hours in a day but i don't do one landing i do multiple landing so the amount of work which a pilot does is very similar no matter which aircraft they fly or in fact for that matter person who's flying more landings has more work to do so like a couple of days ago i went to six different destinations in one day like i went from calcutta to jharsuguda that's one from jharsuguda i went to bhuvaneshwar bhuvaneshwar i came back to jharsuguda from jharsuguda i went to raipur from raipur back to jharsuguda and then i came back to kolkata from jharsuguda so that's six destinations in one day so yes flying is tiring it is mentally stressful physically stressful as well that is why people keep saying you know if you want to fly you have to be fit fit as in you don't have to have a six pack or whatever but you have to be in good physical order to perform your duties hoof continuing
weather people ask a lot of questions about turbulence a lot of people are scared about of turbulence and for, there are multiple reasons why turbulence is caused as well two main reasons are uh, one one is the weather if there is bad weather around uh, again uh, it's called cumulus clouds or cumulonimbus clouds and you know clouds like that which uh, for very simple uh, I was actually searching for a word for very simple language clouds which look like a cauliflower the huge build ups those kind of clouds are very dangerous to aircrafts as well so any aviator will avoid such clouds so we avoid them at any cost and we do maintain a certain distance and even if you maintain 40 50 kilometers away from those clouds you can still feel the effect of it to a little extent so they always cause a lot of turbulence <clears throat> second which causes turbulence is temperature so whenever you observe whenever you come down close to landing an aircraft in the daytime especially you'll find a lot of aircraft movement like that that is because of the heat ground heats up and all of us are aware that hot air rises and because of the hot air rises it just starts disturbing the air molecules above it and that causes that uncomfortable movement or up and down up and down uh, throwing movement which happens is it dangerous for an aircraft not at all it is only uncomfortable for a human being because we are not used to uh, you know that kind of sudden movements i mean it's just a matter of habit for me we are used to it now we are in flights every day of the life almost so a turbulence or a roller coaster ride or whatever you want to call it it doesn't affect us as much because we our bodies are used to it so similarly it is not dangerous to the aircraft at all aircrafts are capable of handling that and uh, e- don't worry the pilots are very well trained to take absolute good care of these machines but my dinner has been ordered a long time ago waiting for this so it takes a little longer to deliver the food so once the food comes i think i'll have and tomorrow morning i will actually speak to you guys on the way today i couldn't shoot much in the a- aircraft or on the way because there was a lot of rain and because i don't have the microphone with me it will not record all you would hear is the rain and aircraft ke pass gaya and it got completely busy with today's weather and all so i hope you guys really like this video next video is absolutely about us going on our ride to dindi and i was so shocked when actually this plan was being made by my family because i was absolutely had no idea about we going anywhere i was super excited to come back home firstly because i've been away from home for about for about 7 days now i was like yay gar aa raha 2 days 2 days 2 days and then they're like yeah yeah jaldi aa jaldi aa and then we are planning to go out so i'm like what where and then they were like mm, thinking of these two places and that this and then finally dindi got decided and then i was like okay how did that happen i was like okay chalo theek hai jaake aa jayenge and then luckily i have i'm not flying for the next 4 days because they put me on a continuous schedule here so jaake aa jaunga and then my flying would start again and but yes family outing much needed much needed much needed been really long since all of us have been out chalo 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 too much of me talking bye good night love you guys see ya